So I'm going to put a symbol in the button that I created here. Um, and then this is where that edit actions came in. So um, under properties, you can scroll all the way down and click on edit actions or a real simple way is just to double click right on the button. And what this does is opens up an action editor. And this is where you can add a, a command for the button. So if you were to click on the button, it's going to um, perform the actions that you put on here. So I'll go through some, again, we'll go through some more of the popular ones or the ones that you'll probably use most often. Um, and then I'll show you what they do. Okay. So we'll start with um, speak label and speak text. Okay. So um, speak label is exactly what you think it is. It's going to speak the label that's on the button. So I'll click that and it should go on the right here and you can um, click on delete or you can move if there's multiple commands you can move them up and down um, when you're all done editing the actions you can click on save and now in order for me to test this um, uh, this action that i put on there i'm going to click on play and um, play this play button right here starts the activity from the beginning or you can just click on preview page so I'll just click on preview page, even though this is the beginning of the activity anyways. So um, this should say pencil when I click on it. Pencil. Okay, simple enough. I'm gonna click on return to design mode. Um, I'm gonna show you the next action. I'm gonna delete this action. And I'm gonna show you speak text. So now I can enter um, whatever text I want that to be. So if you want it to be a full sentence, excuse me. <clears throat> um, so it's a whole sentence rather than just the word. I'm gonna click on okay. I'm gonna click on save. I'm gonna preview the page. And hopefully this works. I need a pencil, please. Okay, so I, I, even though it says pencil, um, I put the command or the action to say that I need a pencil, please, rather than just say pencil. Um, so those are two different actions that are um, pretty oftenly, oftenly used. Um, if you wanted to go ahead and change that, you can just click right on here and you can change the text that's in there. I'm going to go ahead and delete this and move on to the next action. Um, let's see, what should I do next here? Um, you can create a next and previous button. So if you have, again, um, over here on the left side, you can um, have multiple pages in this activity. So um, you can create a next and a previous button. I'll show you that. So I'm going to exit out of here for a second. So I'm going to leave this here. So I'm going to kind of move it a little bit quickly just to kind of um, um, so I can easily show you what this, uh, how to do this um, feature. So you can see here it's moving a little bit slow. So this was a, this is what's happened sometimes, and we just have to be patient. So exit out. We'll try this again. There we go. So I'm just putting a back arrow just so that if a student were to um, be utilizing this activity, they can see that there this goes back a page. So I'm going to double tap. And this opens up this. I'm going to click on previous page. I'm going to click save. So um, actually, I'm on the second page of this activity. So if I preview page, I'm going to click on this back button. And now uh, this is the first page of the activity. I'll show you the, how to do the next button rather than back or previous. So it's the same concept. So I'm on the first page. I'm 
double tap to open up the actions. Let me click on next page. Let me click on save. I'm going to preview the page. I'm going to click on next and now it should go to the next page. Everyone good? We're keeping up. All right. Um, I'm going to um, show you the message window now because this is all part of the interactive feature. So this is related more to writing. So um, I'm going to make a message window here. Okay, again, I click this last button here and then just draw the rectangle. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and create some visuals on the bottom here. So I'm gonna make a button with mouse in it and oops oh sorry All right, so um, so what I'm uh, what what I want this activity to do is I want to press this mouse button and I want a sentence to go up here. So this could be like an adaptive writing activity that you can create for students. So I'm going to double tap this. So the same concept as speak label and speak text. Here's insert label and insert text. So it's the same concept. So I'll start with insert text. I'm going to enter my um, sentence that I want the student to write. I'm going to save. I'm going to preview page. Okay, I'm going to click on this mouse button here. And um, as an added little bonus, you can click on this uh, message window, even though it's um, even though I just see my cursor or the, the text cursor. I can click on it. The mouse ran under the fridge. And it will read it out loud. We call this text to speech because it's highlighting. The mouse ran under the fridge. And um, highlighting every word as it reads. So that's kind of a nice, cool little feature. So I'll show you speak, I'm sorry, insert label um, as opposed to insert text. Okay, so I'm going to insert this label, saving that. I'm going to double tap on lion. I'm going to do insert label. Save. Click on preview page. So I, I want to create the sentence the lion. Um, I know it's not completely, it's not a complete sentence, but I'm just showing you for demo here. The lion. And then again, I can click on this message window. The lion. And it should read it out loud. So there's two kinds of ways that you can do um, like an adapted writing activity. So you can either put the whole sentence and it should go up in the message window, or you can create multiple buttons, kind of like an adapted keyboard that you've customized. So the student can create um, some sentences um, using visuals, using pictures or symbols. Um, I'm going to go back to the second page here. Um, the Symbolate tool, actually, um, yeah, we'll see here. So um, we can actually add a uh, read out loud feature for the Symbolate tool here. So if you're creating, again, social stories or a book of some sort and you want it to read out loud and be like an interactive book for a student, 
you can double tap to open up that action editor. And um, while it's not on the, uh, it's not populated on, uh, uh, here on the bottom, on the left, you can search for this feature called read and um, highlight. Okay, so if you just start typing in read, it should populate this. Um, this first one is the, the one that I want. So I'm going to click on it, and then this little object browser is going to pop up. And I want to make sure that I click on the symbolated sentence that I want it to read out loud. Um, otherwise, it might read something else. So um, click on that. We'll click on OK. Click on Save. I'm going to preview the page. And I'll click on the sentence here. The dog ran away. So you have your visuals on top, you have your sentence, it's highlighting as it's reading. Um, really cool feature. So um, I use that, um, I've used that quite often in past activities and, um, you know, fun all around. All right, so I'm going to go back to return to design mode. I'm going to go back to the first page. Um, so we're not working with the message window anymore. I'm going to delete that. I'm going to double tap on mouse. I'm sorry, let me double tap on the lion. Um, I'll show you the next one that I want to show you is um, play sound. So um, what's really cool about this feature is that um, Boardmaker has a bunch of sounds that's already in their own library. Um, so um, you can add a, uh, an action to play a sound when you click a button. So I'm going to delete this, insert label one, click that delete button, I'm going to click on play sound. We're going to click on um, my media. And I'm, I, I know there's nothing populated here, but you can search different sounds that you think that Boardmaker would have and see if it's, if it's available. So this button was for lion. I'm going to type in lion, and here's the lion um, sound here. So I can click on select. I'm going to click on save. I'm going to preview page here. And I'm going to click on lion here. And it should play that sound. So a really fun feature. Um, the most of I've used for this feature specifically, um, I'm going to go back to the um, the um, the play sound here. Uh, I'm going to click on this. Um, I'm going to click on my media again, and um, I've used this to um, uh, for to add um, sounds that sound like a, a, a uh, that they made a good choice or a bad choice. Um, the first one is I just type in bell and I use glass bell and it sounds like the student made, uh, chose the right answer is essentially what I'm saying. So I'm going to click on save. I'm going to preview the page. So it's kind of like a, a tone for as the right answer. Um, and you can also use, um, if you go back to design mode, Click on My Media. Um, it's called Buzz or Buzzer, I think. Here we go. So um, there, are, there, di there are different types of buzzer sounds, but um, anyone will do. It sounds like a wrong answer. So I'll go ahead and show you what that sounds like. I'm going to click on Lion. So that was the buzzer sound. The other ones um, sound a little bit better, but uh, you get the idea there. Um, let's see. I'm going to go back to design mode. Uh, let me see what other actions that are available that I want to show you. Um, I think you can, uh, let's see if websites are available. So you can put a, uh, a button to, um, to connect to a website or a web address. So that's kind of a cool feature. And you can also put a pop-up video. So if you're able to download a video or have some sort of video that you can 
um, attached to it, you should be able to click on that and then find it on your uh, computer and um, add that to the activity. So these are all really great reinforcer type um, features.